Alright, this is Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. You can see we got a pretty bright sunshine, a little bit of overcast, the breeze, maybe 75, a very nice day. And today we have our, we rented a Beretto 3107C wood chipper. Uh, I've used this before, it works really good. And over here we have our chipper box with our backboard, blast, blast shield, whatever, connected to our John Deere RX-73. And we have these to start chipping. So when I built these, see the bottom ones were original, and then I couldn't get a chipper back here because it was too wet, so I built these extensions. And I thought was I might have to, like if it was piled this high, I couldn't take the side down, I'd have to pull them out this way but there's not that much I think I'm gonna do is take the this one and this one off and then I can pull the pieces this way and I think the same can happen with this I'll just pull off this one piece and I should be able to not too much should fall out and I could pull off this one to start pulling pieces out so that's the plan I'm gonna set up it's gonna be very loud so you're not gonna hear much except a lot of noise got our first bend cleaned out we got enough down we took off the extension and we actually put the extension over there and I'll explain that in a minute and then we took off the lower rail fence whatever so there's a lower and an upper so this is cleaned out we're gonna be able to put that back coil up the rope uh, <clears throat> I think we're going to use either these which are wider or these which are a little narrower so take a look so a lot of not too much backsplash but a lot of stuff i have to rake and shovel all that back in there so i think we're going to do is put a make it three-sided uh, and since i don't want to spend a lot of time making brackets and stuff i may just get a, a couple of uh, screws and a screw gun and just screw that into place while we're chipping oh pretty good uh, we'll put make it three-sided and we won't have to rake up as much yeah so let's I'm gonna clean this up empty this this is settled down I need some water and a bit of rest so these are the rejects so these longer ones are too wide to go in there uh, so the longer ones I may put on a sawmill and cut them in half and then they will fit in. The smaller chunks won't fit on a sawmill so either I gotta cut them with a chainsaw or they're just gonna go in the, in the burn pile over there. I don't really need firewood per se so I'd rather use them as wood chips as much as possible. Okay we have our chip cart full of chips, wood chips. We backed it in. This was a spot that did have Previously had wood chips from a previous wood chip project last year and many years before. We cleaned it all out for trail use. 
So now we're going to put this stuff here. Okay, one load of wood chips. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the thought was if I could pull that tarp out, then I can I just at least I, you pull the tarp up and over, and it kind of makes a big mound. Because if I dump that, I tipped it, then it's going to be a short pile. So we'll see it. We'll try the next one. I'd like to get on top of that one if I could. Uh, so we'll see what we do. Okay, time to reload. Okay, ready for a second round of chipping, and this is our original. What we do is we put these two, this is from a uh, old wheelbarrow, just to give something for these to sit on, because these are from over there, uh, and temporarily we're going to use them to make a little bit better chipping box, and then we re use the rope to tie them so they don't fall off and I think we're going to try and see if this doesn't prevent some of the raking I have to do. emptied out the short pieces we previously did a load with the mid pieces we did a few long pieces let's see how our sides in addition to the back oh yeah and how much well some in front uh, not so much I guess there's a butt bit on the back here huh well Okay, this is two loads of my dump cart. Uh, we need to take a break, get some water, have some lunch. Okay, so this is going to be our third load of chips. We got temporarily two side ones because things were flying sideways. I added, I moved that over and added another piece so it's a full back because things are blowing past the sides. You can see back there, there's a whole bunch of stuff I raked up. So let's see how this works, and then we'll uh, make a plan for uh, version 6 of our uh, chipper box. Hey, 
this is our second load. And there's a lot of wood chips that were in front and on this side. So I want to put in the second piece up there, the second piece up there, and a piece in front. And I think we got a pretty big load in there. So we have to empty this. Uh, yeah, so it looks like I have to rethink my box uh, type of thing. Okay, we're cleaning it up here because it's the end of the day. So that was all the wood chips that I raked up off the ground. So we need a better method because that's a lot of effing raking and a lot of wood chips. Look, I'm a whole other box. So we got to come up with a better plan for our chipper box. This was originally designed for when I had wood chips delivered in the driveway and I would just use a snow shovel and shovel wood chips in there. But now I have to rethink when I'm using a chipper like this, how to do that. So we didn't get it all finished, uh, but I guess I didn't expect to, I th thought I'd finish this. I probably would have, but I had another project that came up. But, you know, we still got that. And there's a whole bunch of stuff on the trail still to do, so. We're going to uh, prep this because we got all those boards that need to go on the sawmill to get cut to fit in the seven inch chute. So we'll do that and then we'll be prepped and ready to get the wood chipper again. I don't know, maybe Thursday? I'll see. Uh, yeah. All right, just walk in the project site. So the door part and bolted on there, that all worked good, but part I made to, is a back, what is the backsplash, blast shield, whatever for the chips to collect didn't work good. I had to use all these extra pieces and time up there to make it somewhat reasonable, but there still is a lot of wood chips that got out of the box that I had to rake up and shovel back in the box. So we need to rethink that part. Yeah, that's the exhausting part. So we got that one done, that one done, and three quarters of this one. So we'll need uh, the wood chipper back to finish this. We got these pieces here that are too wide to fit in. So some of the pieces, I think, if they're long enough, I can put them on the sawmill and just cut them once in half, lengthwise. Uh, and the small pieces, maybe put them on a log splitter and split them in half, or maybe a quick pickaxe to uh, snap them. They're not that thick. I'm not sure what to do with that yet. So we still also have that pile to do. And this is where we put the wood chips. Uh, to use on the trail as needed. So that's like three loads of, three chipper box loads of wood chips for future use. And after I finish that, this is the next big endeavor that's been going on for four or five years. We got to take care of this. I need to take out this tree and I need to take out that tree. They're both dead trees because I need to get the chipper in here because this is a big pile of brush that needs to get chipped. And I think we're going to, instead of putting it in the box, I think we're going to make a area here to just blow the chips into and then use that as needed. And my thought is that once I clear all this brush out, I'm not going to put the brush pile here anymore because it's too hard to get the chipper back in here. I'd like it just to be on this straight way. I can just drive straight, turn around, and come back. So maybe I'll make this the brush pile over here, a big brush pile, and maybe we will make a big chip pile over here. And then I won't need a box for this one, uh, and it'll be easier to get the chipper to. We'll see.